Head coach Nevada Smith of the Rio Grande Valley Vipers joining us after a big 134-103 win over the Springfield Armor. Coach, let's get to the bad stuff right away. There was 28 total team fouls on the Vipers and 11 on the Armor throughout the entire game. The Armor didn't even pick up a foul in the second quarter. What is that thought? What do you think about that? Uh, they were giving us some stuff that we took. Um, we weren't attacking the basket, um, and, and we fouled too much. Uh, we got to do a better job getting into people drawing contact. I thought that was the one thing that we did a poor job of tonight. Uh, and we got to do a better job. We got to have Isaiah. Losing James is a, is a big uh, key to that. You know, James is able to throw the basket, draw foul. He was quick. He was athletic. And now we're, we're more of a jump shooting team um, with Isaiah, the one guy that can create with Chris and, and Kevin Parham off the bench. So uh, we got to figure out ways to, to get to the free throw line. You did welcome back Jordan Enriquez today. He uh, needs a little polish still, shall we say. But uh, give me your initial thoughts on what you did see him play. He's working really hard, look, he's looking great in practice. Uh, out here, you know, the game's a little faster. Uh, it's a little faster than practice. He's got to get down the court, get to the right spot, make the right play, make the right reads. Uh, his effort's always pretty good. Uh, he just needs to make sure he's sure up the basketball side. And tell me about the team, the way they stepped up without James Johnson here. Of course, he got called up by the Memphis Grizzlies. We saw Robert Covington step up, Isaiah Cannon as well step up, and we saw Chris Johnson play uh, play a little harder, shall we say. I think the, the guys that filled James' role were uh, were off the bench. You know, I thought Tony Bishop played great, Kevin Parham played great. Uh, they filled a, a pretty big void. Um, Troy stepping right in, I thought that was uh, a comfort zone for us. We're used to having him out there, so the starting lineup wasn't what we were worried about. It was the second unit, uh, what they could do. Uh, really, when we missed James, was in that second unit. So I thought they did a great job, and uh, you know, hopefully James doesn't come back. That's one thing that we uh, we hope him he has the best success up in Memphis, and uh, we look forward to tomorrow night's action against the Reno Bighorns. Obviously, a team that we saw not too long ago yeah. here at the State Farm Arena. What's the game plan? They'll have a couple new players, a couple guys uh, that we haven't even seen play yet. So uh, we got to make sure we're watching their game tonight. They had a, a win at Tulsa, so uh, we'll go and watch that and, and get ready for tomorrow night. All right, Coach. Best of luck. Thank you very much.